Hey everybody, day 40. Congratulations. I hope you've enjoyed the book. Most importantly, I hope you enjoyed spending time with the Lord in prayer and seeing how that direction and road's taken you for the last several days. We don't know what the path always leads to or where it's going to go. Sometimes honestly we follow, sometimes honestly we don't, right? But the best place we all agree is following Him, Jesus. Waking up every morning, seeking Him, letting our requests be made known to Him with thankfulness, and allowing Him to minister to our hearts. There's nothing better. I was thinking about the path that I've been on for the last several years. I kind of mapped it out for you. Do you see it? You see it? (laughs) What is that, huh? These are all the places I've lived. I just drew a circle. It's not specific. It's kind of in the general location of where I lived. And I never thought or dreamed that I would live in all those locations, right? Some were unexpected, but many of those, many of these places that I've lived, these circles, have been an answer to or direct response to me seeking the Lord in prayer. I didn't know in advance where I'd end up. I didn't know that I'd be here right now, honestly, sitting on a front porch of a coffee shop in Kernersville. But so what's your future hold? I don't know. He knows. And prayer changes everything. Are you going about your day not asking for the direction, not telling him your challenges, not really pressing in and thinking that he cares about you? Literally, 30 minutes ago, I was in a meeting with five people who I would consider way smarter than me. So much so in this middle of this meeting where there's some strategy going on and trying to find a solution to a challenging problem. I literally hung my head down and thought to myself, how in the world did I make it in the room with these people? They're so much smarter. I don't know how I can hang. What's interesting is in that moment, I literally asked God, I said, Lord, please, can you use me somehow, some way in this meeting? It was an impromptu meeting that really had just uh, probably intended to only be about five minutes and it went on almost an hour. But toward the end of the meeting, the Lord clearly gave me an idea, and I shared it. And it was good enough to bring a lot of hope and ended the meeting. I walked out and got my stuff to get ready to go to lunch. And I thought, wait a minute. God, you just did something miraculous. I just asked you to use me in a room where I felt like I was over my head, and you showed yourself strong. Family, really, genuinely, he did something amazing. Why am I sharing? It's just a simple meeting. They're not. It's significant moments in time when God interacted with us. It did something where we are. And he wants to do it in you. But not just through the 40 days. It's a journey, family. Until we go see him face to face. And though sometimes we might find ourselves in a field, seemingly, or off the path that we think that he's led and called us to be on, jump back up. Seek him. Follow him. First John says he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all iniquity when we confess our sins. Confess your sins to him often, and run back to his open arms. May this not be about 40 days. May this be about the rest of your life and eternity with the Father. Family, follow him. Teach others to follow him. And don't give up. He's not giving up on you. He loves you. He's got you. And this is just the beginning. Love you.